Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Now if this doesn't cool, I look cool, I really don't know. I mean, I have a recording for videotape recording lamps and now you can see all the different reflection which make all different kinds of colors on these DVDs. So this really looks cool. Unfortunately, it's not the paint that looks like that, but just light. Uh, what I want to do today is prepare for a garden mobile. I'm not sure how it's called, if that's called like that in English. So they all go into a line and they move in the wind, etc. So I'm only going to leave a few with the mirror side up that they also catch the sunlight. And the rest um, I'm going to pour on the mirror side and the back of this one is white so it's not reflecting. I want to do a Dutch pour or better it's an um, air, a hair dryer blow, uh, technique because Dutch pour you can look that up in my videos is slightly different I, I know there is by now the um, interchargeable terminology used but the Dutch pour originally is basically also having a little white blanket all over the paint and then blowing it out with a hair dryer and yeah using just a hair dryer it's just a hair dryer technique but yeah it's similar and it's just just a little tiny difference uh, normally you also have the completely covered the base with white or whatever you color you want as a negative space. I'm going to do that too, but I'm not going to carefully um, spread it because I'm going to use more paint than you normally use in a Dutch pour um, because it needs to have some pop uh, pop out a little bit more because it's going to be hanging a little bit on a distance. So normally you have like, for example, a white base completely distributed and then a few puddles of color which go very nicely then with the hair dryer on the rest of the, the surface. And I'm just going to use basically a lot here. There is, of course, a hole in the middle. I didn't um, tape it off, which I would do with an LP. Uh, but with a vinyl record, but I don't think that it matters so much. I am a little bit worried that as soon as I start blowing in it, that it all tips over. So I need to try that with one, and if that doesn't work, I need to put them all at the side and do that a little bit more careful. Okay, so let's give it a go. So what I have is a bit gold and silver and these kind of things that reflect a bit. Also, um, I have some neon yellow and neon orange and some sparkly red, I think, and some sparkly metallic blue. So let's see if that's enough. Okay, so what you can see is that some tip over, almost tip over. Oh, unfortunately, you can't really see it very well on the video. I'm going to later on at the end uh, take the camera and give you some close-up. Um, the neon is making really cool cells forming, which is basically lacing. It's just air. It's the same like with the bloom. There are some spots, but I think I'm just going to, instead of just going blowing over it again and again, i just going to... Uh, paint them later on. This one is a little bit milk because there's nothing so perhaps I'm gonna fix this. This one is good. This one is good 
This one's good, really nice. Yeah, I'm gonna show you later. So let's try to put this on the side and move on. So what I can also say, I think from what I like, um, I think it should really have the neon for sure, but it also should have something like red. The silver and gold doesn't show that much in these cases. So I'm gonna for sure amend that a little bit with these ones. So what could also work really good, this one really doesn't want to cooperate, so I just dipped it into the rest paint on the table. I mean, that's exactly a technique that would work perfectly super for this one too, what I'm intending to do. But I really like these, they have super lacing, so I think I'm gonna go for a combination of these now. I'm almost tempted to do them all over because these ones are really looking awesome. So for you it looks pretty messy now, but these are so popping colors. This neon is really, really crazy. And also here it proves without siliconium cells. It's really consistency and density and application of air also. So this is full of cells. And there's no silicone. So let me take you to some close-ups. If this one isn't lovely, I really don't know. Look at that. This one is also cool. These are a little different. I'm almost yeah tempted to do this over, but at the end they go in the garden, right? But it's a little bit too soft. Well, this one has really cool, what you would call in different techniques now, bloom. Let me show you. You see that web effect? Also what you call bloom at this point, it's a very popular technique. It's a question of density and consistency coming together. Okay, this was really fun. I'm really glad it didn't all tip over. And of course, when I finish this mobile, I'm going to post a picture in the community or on Facebook. And I hope you're going to check that out. And for sure, I'm going to hope that I see you back soon. Thanks for watching.